Greetings and welcome to Slime Rancher. We are now back on the Floof Floof Ranch after a lot of uh, grinding that went on in the background. So I basically went about uh, helping Mochi and Odin with the last missions that they wanted me to do, so to speak. And upon doing those missions, I got access to their ranches, well, sort of their ranches, like offshoots of their ranches. And then after helping them out, I more or less reorganized the area. Uh, right here we have new quartz, not quartz, quantums. I'm an idiot. I was gonna say quartz slimes. Yeah, they're, they're made out of minerals. But yeah, we got new quantum slimes. I installed the music box to calm them down because if they get irritable, I know full well I've had this experience before and I don't know how it works or why it does, but if they get irritable uh, they can like teleport out like this little fake here they can teleport to that fake and I don't know how that works or why it works or what that matters but we definitely uh, have a bunch of things to do. I ended up making a ton of drones, although I don't think I really need any more drones at the moment. Definitely got all the refineries that we could need. I haven't actually done anything with Odin's area to uh, make it useful, I don't think. Or is it Mochi's? No, it's Mochi's. Mochi's area. I have done something with Odin's. Odin's, um... I'm gonna go collect these things while I'll talk about it. But, uh... Odin's area has... Uh... Um, stuff. Uh... Odin's area has... The... Puddle Slimes waiting there. Because... I don't really need to really take care of the puddle slimes. They kind of are self disdain So they don't need any food. They don't need any special treatment. I could give them a toy, but, and, you know, they're not quick to irritation, so they don't really need it. And if you may have noticed... Oh, that was stupid. If you may have also noticed, I have a backpack upgrade that now puts me at being able to carry a hundred items per slot. Mm. Hair in my mouth, that's gross. I guess it'd be better than slime in my mouth, considering they're tabbies. But yeah. Ah, hit my head. Ow. So, oh yeah, I need to make sure that those things' water levels are high enough, because apparently the drones run on water? Which doesn't quite make much sense. Water at that, there we go. That's full now. I have them set to sell the tabby plorts because I don't need the tabby plorts at all. Let's see. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh... The puddle slimes basically aren't really, uh... in need of care. So I kind of put them in an area where I don't really need to go to all the time. I don't know what to do with Mochi's area other than to add the new slimes that we'll be getting eventually. And unfortunately for those slimes, it's going to be quite a difficult uh, process to get them situated in the area. Grab some of these to fill up the uh, this thing here. Make sure that's then ready to go. You can have that. Uh, they're hungry. I don't really have a lot of chackens to feed you. Although I do over here. I've got way too many roosters. Uh, we'll dump. One. Gotta grab. 
There we go. Okay, we'll grab a couple here. Too many roost rows. Alright, that should be good. We'll give you half. There you go. They're good. So, my plan for today... Is to basically get everything set up and ready to go for the next area that we're going to be tra uh, traversing into. Because I have... Ooh, make sure all the deep run. Because I have the teleporter on me, I believe. Yeah, I have the pink teleporter now. We have refinery and... Uh... Whoop, I'm an idiot. I don't even have anything to give you. What am I doing? My brain just shuts down. Anyways. So I have all the market teleporters and the... Oh, you can have that. And the refinery teleporters set up in pretty much every location. Yeah, basically the only thing we need to do is go check out the new area. No, 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 no. No, can't let you wander. Ah, oh, check-ins. Stony hen and a roost room. Yeah, you have that. And then... Throw you over there. That'll be fine. Rock slime. I sacrifice rock slimes to the slime gods. That'll be fine. What's going on here? Slime fossil. Hmm. Okay. You definitely need more food. Uh, I think I'll just go ahead and cut this out as we go and make sure that all the uh, slimes are taken care of. I guess, uh, I better show off this. So, this is Odin Orch's area that I unlocked. It actually has a special looking uh, drone color for some reason. But whatever. And we got our three per pond uh, puddle slimes that are just kind of sitting here doing nothing. They don't have any toys, unfortunately, but uh, eventually I'll get there. I kind of need to save my money for like the final, final upgrade, which I don't know why I'm bothering. It's just a health upgrade. It's not really going to help me. But yeah, whatever. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, oh yeah, they're still active. I'm going to put, uh, what do I want to put the pink teleporter? I kind of want it to be here where the blue one is, but then I'd have to destroy the blue one and reestablish a new connection somewhere else. Can I make a blue one again? Yeah, I can. Well, I'll have to... Uh, what I wanted it to do was destroy it and get a blue one, but unfortunately, I won't be able to go to where I need to go. Ah, uh, but I do have the gray one working. So with that said... Yeah, let's just go ahead. We're gonna destroy the blue one because the blue one is uh, kind of in the way. 
And then we will drop the pink one here. Make the blue one. There we go. Just had to be absolutely sure. And then be on our way. Oh yeah, okay. And all we have to do is venture onward. To lands unknown. Ah, the door that made no sense. It makes even less sense now because it's no longer a door. Can't go that way. I do actually want to kind of explore this place eventually, but I think right now what I want to do is establish a connection to get to the new area that I know is beyond this uh, region. That's beyond this ruins. Let's put this as the blue. There we go. And then we'll establish a new connection once we get back home. Hello there. Oh, bye. I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Uh, that door's closed. I think another thing to mention about my upgrades is that I managed to get um, ultra running boots? I don't know what exactly they do. I guess they just make, uh, the stamina usage for running less. Oh yeah, and I got the purple item cracker. Which, yeah, don't really care for that. I don't really want to go looking around for them. There's a thing over there. I'll read that once I actually explore this place. For now, though, I just want to get to over there. Alright. Sorry if I'm swinging the camera around. The sensitivity on this is insanely high and I can't really tone it down. Otherwise, it would be too slow. I got an advanced Gordo Snare? Wait. Really? Okay. Oh, I have a door for a key. Well, I definitely have a key. Nice. Okay. So, what's going on here? That's weird. I didn't expect to be able to put things there, but now that I'm able to, why am I able to put things there? What's going on here? I think this one we'll have to read. The ruins used to be some kind of warp station, used by whoever created it in connection to one of the most distant corners of the far, far range. Be careful, Beatrix. Once you cross over, you'll be in truly untamed country. Though beautiful, the other side can be an unforgiving place. Really? Oh, I need to go get more, uh, quantum plorts. Because this thing isn't active. Well, nuts. I can't remember if it was five or seven. Ah, well. I would like to regain my energy before I try again. What the frick is down there? Ah, it must be a Gordo that's, uh, lying way down there. I'll definitely go after it when I decide to revisit this place. I just want to establish a connection to this new area with the pink teleporter. 
I already did so with the blue teleporter. Good, it was five. Because uh, if I had to go back and get two more, I might have been pissed. Ah, more trademark copyrighted, not sponsored, uh, singing. I don't want to be in the teleporter when I do this. Okay. It's so weird that the quantum slimes allow you to make this massive teleporter to the new area. Going in. Oh. Glass desert. Smoke, fire, and mirrors. Under a blistering... Oh, okay. Oh, that's weird. I can't put stuff here. Butterscotch teleporter. Well, that's weird. I didn't think I was going to get another teleporter. That's why I put them in specific locations around the map. Okay. Whoa. That's insane. Alright. I kind of want to put... Uh... The teleporter in the center area here. Just to make it more convenient for when I show up. To either grab materials... Or slimes themselves. What's going on over here? Regular hands. I don't really see anything going on over here. I'm in a new area and I haven't even been greeted by... Anything that's going on. And it suddenly got really quiet. Kinda don't like that. Well, hello. Dervish slime? Twists and turns all day and spirals all night. Okay. Alright, you're... Irritable for no reason. Very interesting place. Ooh, hello. I'd like some of you. Painted hen. Okay. The glass desert is a fascinating place, but you need to be on guard. At any moment, a dangerous solar anomaly can occur that will cause all heck to break loose for a spell. Uh, you'll know it when you see it, and when you do, head for cover or risk burning your Tushi. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh. There's a Gordo up there. Ow! Why would you frickin' run into me like that? Dervish. I would like more of the painted... Chackens. Not finding any painted Chackens anywhere. Not really finding anything around here. I want more painted chackens, though. Ah, a map. There we go. So, this is literally the center of it all. Hmm. There's another teleporter in the far distance. Okay. Where can I put 
the pink teleporter to make this efficient. There's a door over there that requires a key. I probably want it to be here, actually. Tangle Gordo? I don't know what you eat. Hmm. They like the painted hen, apparently. I actually didn't think something that was made out of plants, uh oh. Was a. Uh... Was gonna be a meat eater. Well, it got hot all of a sudden. I actually kind of want to see what happens. Is that a fire tornado? Oh, hello. Ow! Fire tornado hot. Ow. Okay. Well, I was kind of hoping that you would send out more of the fire slimes. There's one. I want more of these guys. Look at him go! No! That one died! No, let me grab this one! No! There's another! Give me! Any more? I got eight of them. I don't know how many I can have or will need. I think eight might actually be okay. If I remember correctly, they act basically the same as the puddle slimes, but they don't get embarrassed. There's a door. Rock? I don't need rock. Or rock. I don't want to bring Dwayne into this. Hmm. Suspicious. The desert is a harsh place for sure, but there are little pockets like this where life is waiting to flow back into the soil and reach toward the clouds. Of course, it might happen a little faster if you give it a helping paw. Use that noggin, Beatrix. Thanks, mister, who said that, uh, this was untapped lands, but is clearly leaving messages in lands that he has tapped. Bring it, jerk. Oh, I think I need rock slimes. Or at least rock floors. To be able to access that. Um... Grab the dervish. Just so that way I have one. Not exactly sure where I'm gonna put him, or how I'm gonna do this. I also want that tangled. I don't know where I'm gonna put that one either. Ah! There was a painted shack in there hiding this whole time. Is there any more? Where else can painted chackens be? Ah, I see now. I found your little hidey place. Very interesting. Well, three should be good enough to start a farm on them. I love having chackens. 
to sacrifice to the slimes. Give dervish. Alright, well. We still haven't put down the pink, uh. Pink teleporter, so we're gonna do that now. Uh. I kinda wanna put it over here. Up there. Oh, I can't get up there. Frick. Yes, there we go. That's kind of what I was looking for. This is a perfect spot to put the teleporter. Although, now that I think about it, it's not exactly a perfect spot for what I intend to do. Although, I think there's a spot out there. So let's just go ahead and put the teleporter here. Well, unless. Man, I love being indecisive. Such a great character trait. Ah, I do want to have the aspirators over here. So then, oh hey. I need one of you. So then I guess the perfect spot would actually be to put the teleporter here, out in the open. Nah. I still like it being over here. Alright, there we go. So it's official. Finalize. Pink teleporter. Sweet. And here we are. Alright. I need to establish a spot for the, oh, hello, Briars. for the fire slimes, the dervish slimes, and what else? The tangled, apparently. I haven't found the tangled, though. I don't know. Where to go for that? I'm gonna take one of you. Just so that way we have the ability. Oops. Uh, hang on one second. Sacrifice. There we go. So, we're gonna keep all the stony hens here in close proximity to the tabbies. I'm gonna put the painted hens next to wherever the tangled slimes are gonna be. And I think where I'm gonna put them at scratch, so that's why I just kinda stopped there for a second. Kinda eyes over here next to Mochi's area. There's actually a lot here. I know Odin has six plots of land. I'm using four of them right now for the uh, the puddle slimes. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with the other two. Excuse me. I know I have an area for uh, one set of fire slimes. But I don't have another area for them. So I think this is where I want to put them. So we're going to put the incinerator and the ash pit. I don't want to release them just yet because I need to get something to put there. That I can just throw away that I don't need. I think carrots would be good. Let's see. Then we have one two, three areas. Uh, I think what I would like to do is put the tangled slimes here. 
and then make Yeah, I put the slimes down there or up here. I don't know, my battery is about to die on my controller. That's a problem. I've been talking for too long. Yeah, let's put the chickens up here so that way I can actually like come in and see how many chickens we got, and then I can look down here at the slimes and see whether or not they're irritable. And then maybe over here... I can establish... Ah, oh, this would be perfect. This, These three areas for uh, market and refinery. So this will be the corral. And tangleds are insane. So we're going to put high walls. We're going to put music box. Do... Oh yeah, I do need an air net. I don't know if I need a solar shield. I don't think they need that. We're not going to do auto feeder because auto feeder is kind of useless when it comes to chackens. I don't know why. I just There's never a way to like put enough or breed enough of the chackens to need to auto feed. It's just better to to manually feed them. It's to just me mentally. So now we're gonna do chicken coops, high walls, everything. All right, make babies. And then over here, coop, everything. And then we'll just wait. We'll come back when they filled that pen. And oh, oh, uh, we'll we'll come back. Yeah, yeah, we'll come back when they fill that pen. But at the same time, I'm gonna come back with carrots. Need to find carrots. The only area that I know that has carrots. Oh, that's uh, running low on water. I better make sure that uh, I gotta do a lot of stuff. But you know what? Let's let's do the main thing for now and do the carrots. We want to establish that. Put the flyer, uh, flyer, fire slimes in their pens, so to speak, and then find a way, you know, find a spot to put the dervish slime. I don't exactly know what I'm gonna do about the dervish slime. What do, oops, wrong button. What do dervish like? Prickled pear. I haven't even gotten that yet. Well, that's not good. But it's a fruit, right? So their diet is fruit. So I need a fruit of some sort to keep them occupied. I don't know why I'm picking up the odd onions. Alright. Cat, cat, cat. Almost fell. And four. Okay, four is good enough. Oh my gosh. He was freaking tweaking out over there. Thanks for the fire ports. I'm gonna put those here. And I'm out. Well, I'm definitely gonna need... Uh, I'm gonna need another drone for that area to make sure that those things stay alive. Or I could probably just monitor them like I do, I, you know, the chickens. Alright, we're back. Did you make any babies? No. I'm disappointed. Make babies. Alright. Garden. Uh, nutrient soil. Uh, we gotta do everything, actually. Uh, I think for this one... 
just as a precaution, I'm gonna do the scare slime. Hey. Grow carrots. Blah. There we go. Alright. Hello. You're out. Outside the boundaries. Thank you. Nothing? Okay. Well, we're gonna have to give them some alone time. grab the pogo fruit just because it's easy and more manageable than anything else I think it actually grows like the second fastest not 100% sure on that but what I've noticed when it comes to certain uh, certain foods like the beets here and the mint mangoes and definitely the phase lemons some of them grow faster than others and i'm not quite sure why what the point of that is so let's see oh, i thought something was hiding over here do we want the fruits over there or over here? That's a good question. I think I want the fruits over there. Because then I can put the market plort over here if I need to use the market plort. Because I already have the other one established over there next to the bot. So this will be the coop, or uh, the corral. For dervish, high walls. Um, dervish don't really get irritated, so I'm not gonna worry about the music. As long as I have the ear net, they won't try to get out. Dim shape, protecting slime, sensitive to light. You know, now that I think about it, are the phosphorus the only ones? Uh, phosphor limes have a special need compared to your typical slimes. Phosphor limes and its plorts will quickly vanish if exposed to sunlight. I think the phosphors are the only ones that... ...have a problem. Okay, riding top one is high speed, collecting objects. Highly agitated dervish slime can produce giant cyclones of air that vacuum up and toss about anything they touch. We can do other than praise for the chaos. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so, yeah, for whatever reason, phosphors are the only ones that have a problem with light. And as long as you put them in the cave, we'll do auto here, since it's fruit. Fruit's easy to gather and throw in there. But yeah, as long as you put them in the cave, there's really no need to use the solar corral unless you're, like, really into the phosphors. Garden. Throw the pogo fruit in there. And then throw the dervish in there. Do they need food? Nah, they're kind of happy at the moment, so we're not going to worry about them right now. They will be fine. I do plan on getting more of them. But at the moment, it's kind of low on my priorities. What I need to do now is I need to check the lab for what I can build. Because I need to make more market areas. I need to make more links. I need to make a lot of things. There's just so much that needs to be done. I need to make three of the drills now. 
because I know getting stuff in that new area, uh, there's um, exclusive items, and I want those exclusive items. Oh, I can only build one freck. Uh, I need two for Mochi's area. So unfortunately, that means I can only make the market link for Odin's area, since it already has the refinery link. And then I'll just have to grab more materials for the other stuff. So we'll do that. I also need a drone. And I'm out of hexacombs for the drone. Fantastic. Are these done? Please give me a hexacomb. I was actually hoping that you would give me more hexacomb. Thank you. Now that I have the hexacombs... We're gonna make a drone. And then, let's see. There we go. Three of each of those. And now all I need is the hexacomb and the royal jelly to make more refineries for other areas. Let's uh, get to planting these things then. Oh yeah, by the way, I through all my running around and trying to figure out how these... Uh, these drill things, pumps, and aspirators work. I found out that to get the deep grind, you actually have to go and place a pump literally right outside the door of the ranch. And I didn't figure that out in the last session. I was just kind of like being an idiot trying to figure out in general how to get that, but nope. It's just literally right outside the door. How do I make the butterscotch teleporter? And what would I even need it for? Silky sand? And hexacomb. Well, I definitely don't have silky sand. Weird. Alright. So I need to go run around real quick and make sure that they're all fed. Along with checking on the, the drones, because they out of water. And it's really weird that they need water to... Survive. Okay, it looks like I've basically done everything that I can to feed them. I fed the dervish slimes, fed the quantums, and those guys, the... What were these again? The sabers. Technically, it's tabbies that are mixed with sabers, but they got the fangs of sabers. So, basically the only thing I can do now is just run around and gather materials, which is super boring. I'm sure no one wants to see that. So instead we're going to read Star Mail to end the session. Um, here's your party. Oh yeah, that's the taco scene. Okay, so the new one is the... A Excuse me, Africa. Casey. Uh, thanks, Bay. I never knew you felt that way. I picture you out there on a safari, avoiding the clutches of lions on the savanna, riding elephants across raving ri or raging. Well, they could be raving as well. You never know. They could string up lights and, you know, pump out bass music, have a party. And then as you sit under the stars at night, you weathered, uh, your wizard, weathered, your wanted, your stupid, paws, opened up a locket, and there's a picture of me inside. Yeah, I think you're thinking too highly of yourself there, Casey. And then your loyal chimpanzee companion gives you a somber, uh, knowing look. Weird. Is that accurate? No. Not in even the slightest. <laughs> well, for what it's worth, I missed you too when I was in LA. Ugh, that bar was just awful. But at least I got some stage time. Casey. Yes, the chimp's name was, uh, Colonel Bananas. Uh, whatever, General Sprinkles. Freaking idiot. Oh. I don't really need to sleep till morning, so... That being said, 
that'll be the end of today's session. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay safe. Take care. I'll see you in the next session. What are you doing over there? Stop making noise. This is my outro. Prick. <laughs>